Hi, I'm Benedek and you are very welcome to my channel. I'm a professional software engineer who deals mainly with Unity and C Sharp application development. Besides, I'm an AWS Cloud Solutions architect uh, and in this channel I am talking about these topics mainly, but uh, you can expect anything uh, which is related to IT and software development here in this channel. So if you are interested in these topics, please consider subscribing. That helps me a lot. All right, let's talk about today's uh, topic. I will be uh, this discussing about DFS algorithm, which is a depth first search algorithm. Uh, it is a cool little tree or graph traversal algorithm. Uh, uh, first, I will show you the conceptual overview of it. I will try to explain the main idea behind it, and then I will uh, show you the C sharp code for it. All right, let's get into, uh, into it now. All right, guys, uh, let's start with the conceptual overview of DFS. So what is it? Depth first search or DFS is a method or way to explore a tree or a graph data structure, as I've already mentioned. In a DFS, uh, you first explore all the nodes or items downwards, so vertically. That means uh, that uh, first uh, you try to go to the very bottom of each branch and then backtrack and go to other branches. So the algorithm starts at the root node or the main, the first uh, element or node of the tree. Or if it is a graph, then you just uh, you know select an arbitrary node of it uh, as a root node and you start there. Uh, and the main idea is that you explore as far as possible downwards on each branch before going uh, to other branches. All right, uh, now you can see how it works. So basically uh, we go down each branch and uh, one by one and uh, this is how, how we can, uh, you know, search for a particular item or just traverse the whole tree or graph. All right, uh, I think it is an enough as a kind of quick uh, conceptual overview, so let's see it in c -sharp code now. All right, guys, I'm in Visual Studio and uh, here is a project open called DFS Demo. I've just uh, created it and coded up real quick, so uh, I won't rub your time uh, with uh, coding it up, but it is already ready, so I'm just you know showing it to you and uh, explaining how it works. Uh, it uh, has three uh, classes. The program CS was the default one created by Visual Studio for me, and I created a node uh, CS and a DFS traversal CS. The node CS uh, is for representing or modeling the items or nodes. So this, these items uh, or elements uh, can be considered as nodes. Node is just a fancy computer science terminology for items. All right, so to represent this kind of items, uh, I created a node uh, data structure, but it could be called item or anything else. All right, I have uh, done this so that it has three sub nodes because uh, as you can see, uh, the maximum amount uh, of these nodes uh, is free in my example. But if you don't need uh, three of them, you can erase the middle one or uh, if you need more, you can, you know, add uh, additional nodes uh, to it. Uh, so whatever your use case, you can alter it. Uh, so these are the children nodes of the node. And uh, there is a string uh, text data, uh, which means that uh, these numbers uh, will be represented as strings. Here, uh, here are uh, two constructors. Uh, this takes in the uh, number as a text uh, data uh, of that uh, node or item, and uh, these are just the sub nodes of them. So these constructors are for insta instantiating or creating new nodes. Actually, this is a, another constructor where uh, you can only put in a uh, single text uh, field uh, of that uh, node. It is for leaf nodes for this one or for this one, pro uh, or, or, or it can be used for this uh, tenor, for example. So if uh, it has no more children, then it is a leaf node. Uh, uh, I could use this one here, but then I uh, should uh, put in three nulls. So uh, I uh, 
choose to create this uh, kind of constructor as well. Uh, all right. In the program CS, I've uh, created a little, uh, you know, um, example tree. So basically, this is the programmatical representation of this uh, very same tree. As you can see here, the uh, root node or the first element is one, and it has the direct children of two, five, and nine. As you can see, it is one, and two, five, and nine are the direct children of it. And uh, here uh, it continues uh, as it is here. I won't go uh, through it all, but you can understand it hopefully. Uh, all right, and this method is basically just setting up the, that tree by this element uh, or node uh, data structure which I've created, and it gives us back uh, returns that uh, tree. And in the main method, I'm only uh, you know creating a variable called my tree, and I'm putting in that tree. Uh, I'm just console logging or writing in the ta uh, in the console that it is a DFS algorithm, and I'm calling the DFS traversal method of the DFS traversal. Uh, class for that uh, tree. If we uh, check this DFS traversal method, we will find that it is uh, taking uh, in a node. Basically, uh, the whole tree is considered as a node or built with the nodes, so it's not a problem. And it does a very uh, easy thing. It checks if the uh, token node is null. If so, it returns, meaning that it quits execution. It just stops. Uh, doing anything else, but if it's not null, meaning that uh, it is a real node, then uh, we are just console uh, writing, so writing in the console that uh, text data, but we could, uh, you know, uh, probably if, if we are searching for a, a, a particular element, we could use an if to validate it, if it's the, let's say, element 8 or, or things like that, and then uh, we are using recursion, meaning that we are calling back to this very same function uh, with the left node, and after that with the middle node, and after that with the right node. Uh, this is the way we can, uh, you know, implement that uh, downwards uh, kind of building uh, the tree uh, or traversing that tree. All right, and if I, uh, you know, run this, uh, you can see that it these numbers are in right order, meaning that our algorithm is working as we expected it. All right, guys, I hope you liked it. And if so, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. That means a lot to me. If you have any questions regarding this algorithm, or if you want to see me implementing other algorithms or uh, creating other interesting videos uh, of your topics, uh, comment that uh, down below this video. I will try to reflect uh, to those uh, ones and have an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are. But be safe out there. Bye.